Take a glance at today's map, and the British Isles might seem modest, nestled off Europe's coast. But there's more to this story, a tale of an empire that once commanded vast swathes of our world. From the rocky shores of Gibraltar to the windswept Falkland Islands, remnants of a colossal empire linger, echoes of a time when a quarter of the world's land danced to the beat of a tiny island nation. This was the British Empire, an entity so vast that the sun never dared to set on it. An empire that, at its zenith, ruled over a third of the world's population. But how did Britain, this sliver of land with a temperate climate and modest resources, stretch its arms so wide across the globe? What drove this unprecedented expansion, and how did it shape the world we know today? Our journey starts in medieval England, a realm of castles and knights, where the seeds of empire were first planted. Dominating the British Isles, England was poised for a future beyond its shores. Enter Elizabeth I, a monarch with a vision. Her reign heralded an era of exploration and trade, pushing English ambitions to new horizons. Under her patronage, intrepid explorers like Sir Francis Drake embarked on daring voyages, charting unknown waters and claiming new lands, igniting England's imperial imagination. 1600 marked a pivotal moment, the birth of the East India Company. Granted a royal charter, this powerful entity became the spearhead of English and later British trade and influence in the far-flung corners of the globe. It was more than just a company, it was an empire within an empire, establishing trade routes, influencing local politics, and eventually becoming a ruling power in India. The East India Company laid the groundwork for the British Empire's expansion into Asia. But England's rise was not just a tale of exploration and trade. It was also one of union and ambition, as England and Scotland, once fierce rivals, began to weave a shared destiny. As we turn the pages to the next chapter, we find these two nations on the cusp of a union that would forever change the course of history. 1603, a pivotal year in the tapestry of the British Isles. The crowns of Scotland and England unite under one monarch, James VI of Scotland, ascending as James I of England. Two realms, once rivals, now linked by a shared king. This wasn't just a royal merger, it was the first step towards what would become Great Britain, a union that would fuel ambitions of a shared empire far beyond their combined borders. Under James, the seeds of empire sown by Elizabeth began to sprout. Colonies were established in the New World, stretching from the shores of North America to the sun-kissed islands of the Caribbean. Scotland, too, began to cast its gaze across the oceans. Though smaller in scale compared to England's efforts, Scottish endeavors marked the beginning of a shared colonial ambition. James I envisioned a kingdom united not just by a shared crown, but by global aspirations. His reign set the stage for the colonial ventures that would define the British Empire. Yet the path to empire was not without its missteps and challenges. As England and Scotland slowly gravitated towards a more complete union, their colonial dreams faced both triumphs and trials. Join us as we sail into the 17th century, a time of daring adventures and bold expansions, shaping the destiny of what would become the greatest empire the world had ever seen. As the 17th century dawned, the British Empire's roots began to spread far and wide. England, now with Scotland under the same crown, was setting its sights on North America and the Caribbean, lands ripe for colonization. In North America, English settlers established footholds, like Jamestown and Plymouth. These early colonies were harsh and unforgiving, yet they laid the foundation for future expansion and prosperity. To the south, the Caribbean beckoned with its promise of wealth. Islands like Barbados and Jamaica soon became jewels in the crown, bustling with sugar plantations and trade. Scotland, not to be left behind, ventured into the world of colonies. While smaller in scale and success compared to England, these efforts marked Scotland's growing ambitions. 
The most ambitious of these was the Darien Scheme. Dreamt to control trade through Panama, it was a venture that ended in disaster, draining Scottish resources and morale. The failure of Darien was a turning point. It exposed the harsh realities of colonial expansion and hinted at the need for a more unified approach between Scotland and England. As the 17th century marched on, the foundations of a global empire were taking shape, but not without cost, challenge, and competition from rival powers. The British story was becoming a global saga, written on distant shores and charted across uncharted seas. 1707, a landmark year. The Act of Union melds Scotland and England into a single entity, Great Britain. This isn't just a political formality, it's a fusion of ambitions, resources, and destinies, setting the stage for an unprecedented era of expansion. United, the New Kingdom, was more than the sum of its parts. It was now a formidable force on the global stage, primed for an imperial surge that would redraw the world map. In the wake of the Union, wars weren't just European affairs, they were opportunities for territorial gains. Newfoundland and Gibraltar, these strategic jewels were just the start. Farther east in India, the stage was set for an empire within an empire. The East India Company, already a commercial titan, began to morph into a political powerhouse, shaping the future of the Indian subcontinent. The union wasn't just about shared governance, it was about shared purpose. Scotland's adventurous spirit and England's naval prowess were now united, driving the empire forward. As the 18th century dawned, Great Britain stood on the precipice of a new age, an age of conquest, trade, and conflict that would engrave its name across continents, a globe highlighting the expanding British Empire, showcasing its global reach. Join us as we delve into the 18th century, a period of triumphs and trials, where the British Empire would face its greatest challenges and reap its grandest victories. The 18th century brought with it winds of change, most notably the American Revolution. A conflict born of taxation without representation, it was a bitter pill for the empire, resulting in the loss of its prized American colonies. This wasn't just a military defeat. It was a seismic shift in imperial dynamics, forcing Britain to rethink its colonial strategies and relationships. Yet, the empire was far from crippled. Like a phoenix, it adapted, turning its gaze to distant horizons. Australia, the Pacific, Africa, new lands for exploration and expansion. Australia, initially a penal colony, would soon blossom into a vital part of the empire marking the beginning of a profound British influence in the Pacific. In the vast waters of the Pacific, British explorers like Captain James Cook charted new territories. Meanwhile, in Africa, early trade posts laid the groundwork for future imperial ambitions. The 18th century was a tapestry of victories and setbacks, each loss, each gain, a stitch in the fabric of an empire adapting to a rapidly changing world. As the century drew to a close, the British Empire, bruised yet unbroken, stood on the brink of a new era. An era that would see it reach unprecedented heights. Stay with us as we journey into the 19th century, where the empire, fueled by the Industrial Revolution, would expand its reach like never before. The 19th century witnessed the British Empire at its zenith. Fueled by the Industrial Revolution, it was a period of unparalleled expansion and influence, an empire truly global in its reach. This was Britain's imperial century, a time when steam power, telegraphs, and the Royal Navy connected and controlled a quarter of the world's land and people. Yet, this century of dominance wasn't without its challenges. The rise of Germany, the cataclysm of world wars, and whispers of independence in the colonies began to test the empire's resilience. The world wars, particularly, stretched the empire's resources thin. They were battles for survival, leaving deep scars and reshaping global power dynamics. As the century progressed, 
the winds of change blew stronger. Independence movements across the empire gained momentum, challenging British rule and reshaping the map once more. The 19th century was a time of unparalleled imperial might, yet it also sowed the seeds of change. An empire reaching its peak, but also beginning to face the realities of a changing world. As the century waned, the British Empire, though still vast, was entering a period of transformation, a time of re-evaluation and redefinition. Stay with us as we enter the 20th century, where the empire will face its greatest tests and begin the journey towards a modern world order. As the 20th century unfolded, the aftermath of the world wars set the stage for a new world order. The British Empire, once unassailable, faced the inevitable tide of change, decolonization. One by one, colonies across Asia, Africa, and the Caribbean asserted their right to self-governance. The sun was setting on the empire as nations once under British rule stepped into sovereignty. In response, Britain pivoted from an imperial power to a partner among equals in the Commonwealth. A transformation from rulership to relationship albeit not without its complexities. Perhaps the most symbolic moment of this era came in 1997 with the handover of Hong Kong to China. It marked not just the end of an empire, but the close of a significant chapter in world history. The decline of the British Empire wasn't just a political shift, it was a global transformation. An empire that had shaped the modern world in innumerable ways was now stepping back, its legacy complex and enduring. As we look back on this monumental saga, we're left to ponder the legacy of an empire that once ruled the waves and vast stretches of the earth. Join us in our final chapter as we explore the lasting impacts of the British Empire, a story that continues to resonate in the present day. The story of the British Empire is one etched deeply into the fabric of the modern world. Its legacy is complex, weaving through the tapestry of language, culture, and global politics. English, a tongue once confined to a small island, is now a global lingua franca, a testament to the empire's reach. The cultural imprints are equally profound, seen in the diverse traditions, legal systems, and ways of life around the world. Politically, the empire laid the groundwork for numerous modern states. Its influence persists in the Commonwealth of Nations, an association built on shared histories, albeit with an evolving purpose. Reflecting on the empire's impact invites a mix of admiration and critique. While it fostered development and global connections, it also left scars of conflict and exploitation. As we close this chapter on the British Empire, the story is far from over. History is a continuum, and its echoes are heard in our world today. If you're intrigued by the complexities of the past and its mysteries, join us at Past Detectives. On our channel, we unravel history's intriguing tales, exploring the events and figures that shaped our world. Subscribe, share your thoughts, and embark on this journey of discovery with us. Every history has a story, and every story has its detectives. Thank you for joining us on this exploration of the British Empire. Stay tuned for more detective work into the past with Past Detectives. Until next time, keep exploring.